regret. Now that's the most useless of human emotions. I'm not saying I don't ever suffer from regret, but I find it quite easy to deal with because when we take a decision, any decision, trivial or major, we balance up the probabilities of the result of our decision. Sometimes there's a distinct lean in favour of one decision or another and the outcome's obvious, it doesn't take much thinking about. But quite often, if we spend any time thinking about a decision, the balance between the outcomes is relatively even. But then later on you might think, why did I take that decision? Why did I not take the other path? And the answer is that even in the future you have no more idea of what the other path would have led to than you did at the time that you made the decision. Every decision we make takes us down a certain road but we've only gone a few steps down that road and who knows what the outcome might be. It's often easiest to consider these things in terms of radical outcomes. Let's say you literally decide shall I go down that street or shall I go down that street and you go down the first street and halfway along you trip over a loose paving stone and you bloody your nose and you tear your trousers. And you might think, why didn't I go down that other street? That wouldn't have happened. Well, who's to tell if you'd gone down that other street, whether a car might have mounted the pavement down there, run you over, and that would have been the end of you altogether. Now that's a major example, but you always have to remember how trivial decisions, trivial events, things that happen to you can have radical outcomes. I was thinking when reading about the people in England who'd recently been killed or injured by falling trees. For a tree to fall on you, it's a sad kind of thing to discuss but again it's a good example, for a tree to fall on you you have to be in exactly the right place at exactly the wrong time. Why were you at that spot at that moment? What if you'd spent a few extra sex session, a few extra seconds looking for your car keys? And that's what caused you to be slightly later than you otherwise would have been and the tree fell on you. Alternatively, because you were a little bit later, the tree might have fallen before you got there and a catastrophe would have been avoided. And then you think back, why couldn't you find the keys in the first place? Perhaps you've got a little kid in the house who'd picked up your keys and hidden them. Perhaps you simply put them down somewhere unusual and you forgot. Perhaps as you came in the night before, you had your keys in your hand, somebody happened to ring and you dropped the keys onto the sofa and they slipped down the back a bit while you ran to pick up the phone. And that could save your life or it could end your life, one or the other. But in any event, any notion of regret at the outcome is pointless. Whatever we do, we cannot actually be sure of the outcome of any of the alternatives. As soon as we start down the path that we choose, within seconds Everything has become unpredictable. Within seconds we're trying to make other decisions and from those decisions others branch out. Some are decisions which we make, some are decisions which other people make. There's the concept of the butterfly effect that something happens on the other side of the planet and that can make the difference. Um, not wishing to get into arguments about how the Covid virus started but that could have been a very small action by a single person which completely changed the course of human history 
for the next few years, if not forever. Their decision, what they did that day, might have been something just quite trivial. The timing might have mattered. The effect of that tri the effect of that timing might have been radical, even though the cause of the timing was trivial. So, if you're feeling a bit of regret today, nah, don't bother. It's an understandable emotion, but it's a complete waste of time. You simply don't know. So, I hope your decisions today lead to happy outcomes. That's all we can do. We can hope. It's a beautiful afternoon. Thanks for listening. Now shall I go that way? Or shall I go that way? I'll choose this way. Looks more interesting.
this way or this way well this way goes back to the car so let's choose this way but of course in the other direction maybe there's an elderly gentleman's fallen down and he's lying there hoping that someone comes along to help him back to his feet maybe to call an ambulance and because I made this decision which may have no great consequence for me but it could have a big consequence for somebody else this is what we can never tell we just don't know and everywhere as we walk we have to choose one direction or another one today I seem to be taking left hand turns all the time <laughs> maybe that's because I'm left handed There you see, the elderly gentleman hadn't fallen over, he's running through the woods faster than I could, so all is well. My decision appears to be a good one, but I don't know what else was down those other paths. I really love this reserve, this park. I'm very lucky that it's not far from where I live. And on a still afternoon like this, temperatures about 22 degrees, I think, the tail end of summer. I mean, what could be more pleasant? I believe they bring groups of school children here to have outdoor lessons in natural history and so forth. So much more imaginative than anything that took place when I was a school kid.
That's the path back to where I was sitting earlier. I've come full circle. So now I'm going to hop back into the car, do the prosaic thing of going to the supermarket. Mark you, there's two supermarkets. Which one should I choose? Tough one. Bye. <laughs>